Well, okay guys, something incredible happened today and I wanted to share it with you guys. Sun! We finally have sun! It has rained for a month. Out of the month, the whole month of June, I think we've had six dry days, but they haven't been together. So the ground has been so saturated that I haven't even been able to get my truck back here to finish filling up the boxes. I finally gave up yesterday. For those of you who had followed, I increased uh, another stack of concrete on the top of this bed and that bed over there, which was my bean bed, and I've been trying to prepare it for pumpkins. And I finally gave up and worked in the rain. That's all I could do. So, but I did manage to get the top soil and I put, um, that's my compost from yesterday, but I've been feeding it compost every day for the past month. I put topsoil in there and then cow manure, black cow, um, mushroom compost, and chicken manure. So that's the prep for my pumpkins and I need to turn it. It was just, I was soaked and I wasn't gonna turn the soil and mix it all together in the pouring rain. I gave up on that part. But I did get the soil in, which is a plus. I've, it's been 30 days since we did this bed. So, thought I would give you a little garden update and show you what's going on. These are zucchini and squash, mainly zucchini. And I planted the zucchini and then about a week later I planted the cucumber. What I'm trying to find out is, because the companion planting and the cucumbers keep these vine borers away, I wanted to see if there's a particular stage at which to plant. So I have three different beds with three different type plantings. This one, the zucchini went in first. A week later, the cucumbers went in. And you can see, the cucumbers aren't really getting enough sun. I don't seem to have vine borer problems yet in this bed. And I started picking, yesterday I picked my very first zucchini. Okay, so this was the original bed that I've put out. And this is my third year with this particular bed being squash and cucumbers. And I put in the cucumbers a couple of weeks before I planted the squash. So the cucumbers had time to get established and start growing. Then I put the squash in. And so far, this is the best bed. I'm not having any issues with it. These both got planted at the same time. So that bed was, the cucumber was, was planted two, maybe even three weeks ahead of time. This one was planted at the same time. I started them in pots and normally I just kind of throw my seeds in the ground. But this time I did starter plants on these and I transplanted them. This particular bed, I harvested one cucumber and then about a week later, which was yesterday, I picked about seven cucumbers and took some to a friend that's sick. But it's got about 10 on it that may be ready by this evening to harvest. But I want to show you, this bed has just been drowned. It's These two beds really get a lot of rain. It gets it off the eave and it just pours in there and it's been soaked. So I want to show you the cucumbers and what's been happening with them. They actually look better today than they have. But, and I don't know if you can see it back here. Not a lot of light. But they're... <sighs> getting small and crinkly. So I'm hoping that they pop back out because they are getting kind of crinkly and they're not getting plump. They're just getting too much water. And then the container. Got cucumber here, cucumber there, and then squash. And they're all in separate buckets, but I just kind of have them going around and I actually move the cucumbers and about once a week, so I kind of put them around different plants, only because I, that's all I had growing in this area. I lost one of them to the rain. But I've, I've harvested some zucchini out of the container gardens. 
and the tomato bed. Nothing stops the tomatoes. And it's unbelievable. Um, I'm going to take you through, and because of the way my garden is set up with only this little aisle, it's hard for me to get in there and, and really let you see a tomato plant, but I have one that I'm going to show you, and I hope you'll be able to see the massiveness of this plant. But these sauce tomatoes here, I, I wanted to try the, they're called Heinz. I'm not impressed with them at all. They do not ripen up off of the vine. They don't get that nice soft center like a sauce tomato would. So even at this stage, at that one there, it's still not soft enough. It, they're just too firm of a tomato and there's like no meat there. It's, they're not, they're not pleasant at all. These, these two plants on the end here, this one and that one are Cherokee purples. We eat them pretty much as soon as one is ready. Next to it, this, this plant here, it comes up. It goes over it. Now, mind you, this bed is about four and a half feet wide and I think 15 feet long. So this one comes up. It goes over here, up the top, on down there, and that's one, that's one of the stems coming out from it. It's called a sweet and neat. They are sweet, very prolific. I come out here and I usually in a day's time get 30 to 40 tomatoes and you know what when I have an abundance of these I freeze them and use them for the sauce just like any other tomato but this particular plant not only does it go about 10 feet maybe a little more in that direction it has another stem coming over here and going there it has another stem that goes from there it goes all the way across the bed and then comes up and out. So it's probably about six feet long. I have managed to put away four gallon bags of sliced tomatoes for sauce there in the freezer. I prefer to freeze mine before I make sauce, not unless I'm making salsa. But if I'm making tomato sauce, tomato paste, I prefer to freeze them first. It works so much better and it makes the process of cooking down the sauce much quicker probably cuts it in half but that's the garden and there's my two pumpkin plants they've been in these cups a month have not been able to get them in the ground because of the water and I have 12 more tomato plants that need to go in it's been too wet to get out here and do anything I think I'm going to do a couple of those in a raised bed and then a couple of them in containers. All right, guys, I guess I better get off of here and get some tomatoes picked because they are calling for more rain this afternoon. Yeah, that's the way it goes. But that's okay. I can sit up under my porch and really enjoy the rain. I love the rain. I just I don't want it so much that I can't enjoy the garden and get out and work in the garden. I do miss that. All right, guys, so I appreciate you joining me, and maybe next week, if it doesn't rain so much every day, I will try to get the camera out and do another garden update. All right, guys, until next time, be blessed.